An operating system, or OS, on the mainframe is just like an operating system on your laptop, phone, or game console. It manages the system's resources like CPU, memory, disk, and network so the users and applications don't have to speak binary ones and zeros to talk to the hardware. Instead, they can use higher-level functions like reading and writing to memory or disk, running processes, locking files, and sending data over the network. Without an operating system, you just have a bunch of hardware. The operating system puts a face to the system and gives the user something to interact with. IBM Z supports a number of operating systems, so once you've created an LPAR, you get to choose what operating system you want to run on it. There are some operating systems built specifically for the mainframe, including ZOS, ZVM, and ZTPF. But the mainframe also supports the popular open-source OS Linux and the virtualization architecture KVM. On the mainframe, you can mix and match OSs, even within the same physical system. So you've got a couple of ZOSs over here, two ZVMs over here, a whole bunch of Linuxes, and a ZTPF just to round it all out. All on the same hardware, each with their own specific purpose. ZOS is the flagship IBM Z operating system. It's right there in the name, Z Operating System. Its focus is on running business applications at scale, and those applications can be written in any number of languages, like Java, C and C++, Swift, Node.js, Python, and yes, even COBOL. What's especially important is that it can run programs written in these languages at scale, because you're not just recording every sale that happens, you're tracking revenue, you're adjusting inventory, you're forecasting demand, you're awarding customer loyalty points. And you're not just managing one store, you're managing a worldwide chain of stores all day, every day, including right in the middle of peak holiday shopping season. ZOS is all about making business work. ZVM? Well, that's all about virtualization. The VM stands for virtual machine. But unlike LPARs, this virtualization happens entirely within the operating system. Along with being one of the first solutions that allowed multiple users to share files with one another and keep an inbox of messages, it is a Type 1 hypervisor, meaning that it can directly host other OSs without needing another OS to support itself. This is particularly useful when you want to run a few thousand Linux instances and don't have that many LPARs left to use. Each OS running under ZVM can do everything a natively LPAR-hosted OS can do. And in case you were wondering, yes, you can use ZVM to host another ZVM, which can be used to host another ZVM, and another ZVM, and so on. And then there's ZTPF, the Z Transaction Processing Facility. It's all about, you guessed it, transactions. Airlines, hotels, credit card companies, car rental agencies, and many more rely on ZTPF's ability to process continuous high volumes of transactions in real time. ZTPF is powerful, lightweight, and engineered to handle worldwide workloads all day long. Imagine the logistics behind reserving a seat on a flight from JFK to LAX. Now imagine several million of those happening on the same day, with hundreds of potential customers looking at the same seats on the same flight at the same time. And now you get an idea for how vital ZTPF is to keeping the world running. And finally, it may or may not surprise you to learn that Linux is a supported operating system on IBM Z. When the open source operating system was making the move from hobbyist desktops to business application servers, IBM made the decision to make the mainframe ready for Linux as well. Linux running on IBM Z gets to take advantage of resource virtualization, high availability configurations, and massive amounts of I.O. The good news is, if you know Linux, you know Linux on the mainframe. Now that you've seen the OSs, which one are you most interested in?